up gamers welcome back to another video today I'm gonna show you guys how you can get your very first huge pet in pet simulator 99 and no this is not clickbait I'm hundred percent serious not only am I gonna show you guys how to get a huge pet but I'm gonna show you guys how to get multiple huge pets I'm gonna go over a ton of stuff in this video so make sure you guys stay until the very end because I promise you will get a ton of value from this and you know what one more thing mr. random viewer if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel yet drop a like hit that subscribe button because I post a lot of pet sim 99 content so if you guys play this game as much as I do hit that sub button what are you waiting for so get your hot pockets ready and let's go get your first huge wait you know what I just noticed you guys don't have to jump with your hoverboard you can literally just go right through presents and gifts and everything now and saves boom who needs to jump dude this is such a great new updated feature I was so sick and tired of running into these things oh my god all right so first things first everybody here's what you're gonna need number one let's pretend you guys don't have any huge pets we're gonna go and unequip all those bad boys next up we're gonna head to the dungeon area because I'm gonna explain some stuff to you guys that you may not know about yet this is just so satisfying going through safes I love it okay so what I'm talking about guys is this magic machine right here and I think a lot of people are sleeping on this so check this out so as you guys know you need these items here to craft these items here okay take 16 of them to get yourself a huge potion five to get this charm stone and 50 to get this book but we're gonna do some mathing in this video and show you guys how you can make some massive profit mathing slang humor is chiefly in the negative something is right or reasonable something adds up or makes sense all right cool so it's on Wikipedia so I guess that basically makes sense and to get those buckets there's two ways you can do it first up we're gonna go ahead and head to the trading plaza and we're gonna do some math real fast so before we get too deep into this we're gonna do some mathing in the trading plaza here anyway we're gonna go ahead and head over to the uh, trading terminal here and we are gonna go to items and we're gonna type in the word bucket now the buckets of magic with magic in them have a wrap of 32,000 and the buckets with no magic are 21,000 now what you got to ask yourself is is it worth it just to buy the magic buckets already or should you guys go farm it in the advanced dig site and go look for those magic pools okay so we got 10 buckets for 323,000. Let's just go ahead and buy those real quick. All right, so I just bought 10 of these buckets for 310,000 and they have a wrap of 323. I mean, check out this dude real quick. He's got three of these magic shards and he's selling them for 200K. That's an absolutely terrible idea. Let's just go ahead and buy that because it's exactly at the wrap price. Not only is this guy a turd for selling these three magic shards for 200,000 gems, it doesn't make any sense for anybody to buy those because check this out. If the whole goal of you guys getting these buckets and shards is to get a magic potion, Let's go ahead and look at that real fast. Uh, the magic potion right here. A huge potion sells for 510,000. You guys are either going to use it to hatch huge pets or you're going to use it to make profit. So let's go ahead and do some math real quick. I just spent 620,000 gems on 20 buckets, but I don't need 20. I only need 16 for that huge potion. So I spent 31,000 gems per bucket, right? And I only need 16 of them. So if you take 31,000 times the four buckets that I don't need, that equals 124,000 gems. So if I go to 620,000, and then minus 124,000 from those buckets that I just bought. So technically everybody, if you're going off a of wrap pricing, those 16 buckets that I just bought are worth 496,000 gems. And if you guys remember over here, the potion that we're trying to get is worth 510,000 if you're going off a of wrap pricing. So let's go to a server that's actually selling one of these bad boys and I'll show you guys this. Okay, so this guy's selling it for 500,000. There's a lot of people that are selling this between 490 and about 550. So if we are strictly talking about profit here, buying the buckets already filled from the dig site is not really worth your time. You're going to be wasting more time going back and grabbing those bad boys and also finding someone that's actually selling it at a good price. And as you guys remember, when the dig site first came out, there was a bucket right here that you guys can keep on coming to the top, grabbing and refilling it. They removed that and they started putting the buckets inside of the advanced dig site. Now, the other thing a ton of people are talking about is that you guys need a diamond and shovel in order to get anything good in this dig site and guys I actually 100% disagree with that the diamond shovel is really good don't get me wrong you guys will be able to dig pretty quick and plus the diamond shovel sells for like 20 million gems right now so here's what I'd recommend everyone there's a few ways you guys can do this one you guys can start in corners that's a good way to do it um, if you guys don't want to start in corners you guys can start in the middle but you guys start creating like little pathways and mazes which makes it really really difficult to find out where you're supposed to go so we're just gonna go ahead and start digging here and see if we can find ourselves a, uh, a spot real quick here we go and so as you guys can see this oh do we see what we already found a pool digging straight down okay that that never happens look at how big this is okay so we are gonna need some actual buckets to fill all this up 
which makes it really, really nice because buckets are a lot less expensive. Now, you guys can get buckets if you guys want to try to dig around the dig site, but in this particular instance, everybody, because we found a pool so quickly, and there's, gosh, I don't know, there's probably what, 20, 30, I don't know, 30 buckets in this? And we're gonna go over here to the terminal, we're gonna go to items, and we're gonna type in buckets once again. Now remember, everyone, this bucket sells for 21,000 wraps, so if you guys find a magic pool already, this is where you guys are gonna make your money. Now for this method to work and actually make you guys a profit, you gotta stay pretty close to the wrap. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, there's literally only one person in here. Look at this clown! He's selling 20 buckets for 1.6 million and he's got a whole bunch of them. Bro! This does not remotely make any sense at all. Like, the only reason you're getting these buckets is to craft items. And the items that you'd be crafting are worth less than what you'd be buying the buckets for. Oh my god, this guy's an absolute clown. No, bro. No. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's go try to find a bucket from somebody else. All right, this dude's selling the bucket for 20,000. That's perfect. I wish there was more than just one, but you know what? We'll grab that for 20,000. Oh, this guy's selling 24 of them for 720,000. This is actually a pretty good buy because we're 50,000 under the wrap. So in reality, this is a pretty good buy. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that real quick. Now, this guy's selling 33 of them for 1.5 million, and that just doesn't make any sense because you can only use it to craft those three items. So no, that's an absolute terrible deal. Now, the other thing you guys can craft is this magic orb enchantment and this is going for anywhere between a million to 1.25 but remember everybody it costs 50 of those magic buckets or shards to craft one of these bad boys and if you guys remember the math it's gonna cost you guys more to craft one yourself than it would be just to come buy one from the trading plaza so it makes a heck of a lot more sense to craft huge potions and sell them or use them to hatch some huge pets than it would be to go ahead and craft yourself one of those magic orb enchantments all right come on people we need to find some buckets because if we don't hurry up that magic pool is gonna go away all right this guy's not selling buckets why did it send me to this one all right let's see here uh hang on you guys you sell anything good 330 for five of those pinatas yeah i'll buy those sure why not let's do it is anybody in this server selling buckets hang on this guy's selling one for 40 no that's an awful deal let's go ahead and check over here real quick all right we got another guy over here selling these huge potions for 500,000. this guy gets the idea and the thing is guys those huge potions sell immediately like you guys can have those up for like five minutes and people will buy them right away 2.5 million for 50 magic shards that have a wrap of 1.5 so we sell 15 of them for 750k. You could buy one bucket from this guy for 400k. Dude, who is this guy? No and double no. This is an absolute horrible deal. Oh my goodness. I can't believe there's actually people that put that up there. This guy's selling 23 of them for 650, which is 50k under the wrap. So if you guys are crafting potions, this dude right here is actually making you guys a profit. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and buy this real quick. Two buckets for 100,000 gems. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. I hope everybody after watching this video does not spend that kind of money on those buckets don't do it now here's the problem everybody all this time i'm doing spending looking for buckets i really could just be spending grinding inside that area to find myself some buckets because by the time i do it and uh, look dude really nine hundred ninety-nine thousand for a bucket uh this is killing me no bro this just doesn't make any mathematical sense. No, bad idea. Absolutely not. But anyways, everybody, I'm showing you guys this because it does take a lot of time to find yourself buckets inside the trading plaza. By the time you're done finding as many buckets as you need, I mean, your magic pool thing is going to be closed up because it's on a timer on how long it actually stays up like that for. All right, this is the last server I'm going to check with buckets. There better not be anybody selling it for a million or else I'm going to flip out. Hang on, this guy's got... Dude, bro, bro! What, what is this? What is, are these all the same person? So you could buy a bucket that's already filled up for 32 or buy one that's not for 175. What, what is this? Dude, this guy right here, this guy's got some crazy deals. A pinata for 47 million. Oh man, that's, you're only paying like 47,000% markup on this. One crystal key for 35 million, huh? And then you can get an entire present for 15 million. Okay, obviously I'm just kidding guys, but you gotta look out for these dudes on the marketplace. They're putting it up there for what the wrap price is in in thousands, but they're putting up for millions just in case someone wants to click it on accident. So make sure you guys are checking on this. It's a different type of scam going on right now. Um, a lot of people just go, ooh, 15,000, and they just click it. So make sure you guys are looking out for that just in case you guys have lots of millions so you guys don't waste them. All right, let's get out of here. We're not finding any luck whatsoever. And also, by the way, if you guys dropped a like and clicked that subscribe button yet, I'm just, just double checking. All right, and uh, ooh, dude, we got a propeller cat showing up. Cool, we gotta try for that. Here we go, here we go, come on, propeller cat. My luck is awful. I, I never get... Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. And like I just mentioned, everybody, if you're not fast enough, guess what happens? Your hole closes up that had the uh, the pools in it in the first place. So, 
It is not worth it to go back to the trading plaza and look for buckets. The best course of action you guys can do is just dig around. You guys can set up an auto clicker or whatever it is you guys need to do and find yourself buckets inside this dig site. So when you do find that magic pool, you're not running back and wasting time and completely overpaying for some of those trash offers. If you guys are going to set up an auto clicker, I would pick a corner and just do something kind of like this. So stand kind of in the middle and just kind of go in a little circle like this as you guys do it. So that way you're are farming an entire area instead of just one singular block so it gives you guys a little bit more options to find yourself buckets and chests and that sort of thing and you guys can also every once in a while move forward a little bit so you guys are breaking more stuff and you guys are finding yourself chests and whatnot so just a little bit of a tip if you guys are going to use an auto clicker i have done this before it works pretty well so hopefully you guys can get yourself some buckets while you guys are heating up your hot pockets for lunch okay so now that we talked about the dig site let's move on to the next one why am i still jumping i know i don't have to do that but i just do it anyways anyways the dig site can make you guys a bunch of money you guys just have to be smart about the whole situation you guys can also jump into the lucky block area there is a ton of stuff you guys can get inside of here a couple things it's got a three hour cooldown and you do have to have some pretty good pets in order to crush this out all right guys so the next thing we're going to talk about is the advanced fishing mini game and right now everyone this is absolutely broken the poseidon corgi went from like 30 exist to like over 3,000 exist it is crazy the odds for the poseidon corgi are like just as good as getting the propeller cat from the uh from the spinning wheel tickets so we're gonna go ahead and jump in there real quick and inside this mini game are those magic shards that i bought earlier so the cool thing about this mini game guys is not only are you guys looking for those magic shards but you guys have a chance to get the poseidon corgi in here as well and like i said the odds for that bad boy have increased dramatically and you can afk on this if you guys have the right kind of auto clicker as well oh hang on this one's gonna be good hang on hang on we got a good one come on come on something good let's go not great but not terrible if you guys are going to set up an auto clicker for this you want to give it about a four to five second delay let the bobber bob for a second then you want to start the auto clicker because if you do it right away it's not going to work because you do have to wait for that bob first before you guys can actually pull the thing out of the water yes we got a boot isn't that just absolutely fantastic now the reason everybody the fishing mini game does not require you to get buckets first to put those shards in or whatever or something like that is that it is a lot more difficult to actually find the shards in here you can definitely do it but it's it's also a lot more random versus inside the dig site once you guys find it you guys know exactly where it is which means you guys know exactly what to do next i was able to get a poseidon corgi out of this fishing mini game but it did take me a really long time to do it if you guys are going to do this i recommend setting up an auto clicker and letting it go afk for you while you go do other stuff because it is very possible to get one it just takes a very long time to do it so all you people that stayed to the very end let's get my end thoughts on this whole situation so let's go and head up here to the haunted mansion area and i always forget that this is in the haunted mansion not the dungeon anyway let's go ahead and jump up to this magic machine here so what is the best thing that you guys should be using in this entire situation well we know that this book sells for 1 to 1.5 ish usually you can find it for about 1.2 but if you guys do that you're actually losing money because it would be smarter for you guys to craft three of these at 500,000 a piece than it would be to craft this and if you guys are going to craft charm stones it costs five to make one charm stone and those are selling for about 100 to 120 in the in the trading plaza so crafting these doesn't make a lot of sense so in my opinion everybody the best thing that you guys can use in this entire thing is to get these bad boys whether you're going to sell them or if you're going to actually use them to hatch yourself some huges so in conclusion everybody what is the best thing for you to do with the advanced dig site or the advanced fishing mini game well it really depends on what you guys would rather do because remember everybody the hole that you guys dig is only here for 20 to 25 minutes so if you guys are going to go back to the trading plaza and get yourself some buckets you guys better hurry and find someone selling it at a good price if you're not going to be running back and forth to the trading plaza just pick a spot somewhere in the middle and just turn on an auto clicker and just start doing this everybody that way it gives you guys the best opportunity to get yourself some buckets because if you guys can find the buckets yourselves inside the dig site that's where most of your money is going to come from and then of course there's those of you that just love to hatch and in that case the best option for you is to literally equip all of your luck books and your huge hunter books remember you guys can get a free huge hunter book if you guys open 750,000 eggs but just equip all of your best luck enchantments go over to your potions pop those luck potions potions and then just pop a bunch of these uh, huge potions that you've been crafting and go get yourself a pet from the best egg in the game that in my opinion is going to be the best way to get yourself your first huge pet other than that everyone hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you have not already and i'm going to glitch myself through this corner it looks like all right there i did it sweet ain't that something